Hi, hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. Yes, it has been a very long time since I put some videos. Well, I had been busy with my personal life as well as professional life. So, please, um, I beg your pardon or I am so sorry to keep you waiting. Anyways, um, well, in today's video, we are going to test the latest Pixel Experience ROM for POCO M3 or Juice devices. Yes, that is something great. Now, I mean, what makes it special, what makes this review special is that I'm reviewing the second build um, of OSS ROM. Um, simply say, we don't have to flash the non OSS Venter anymore. We have uh, the Venter inbuilt in the ROM, so the ROM can be flashed without any, uh, without any um, help from the stock Venter. Anyways, let us review the ROM. First of all, I have been using the ROM for quite a, I mean, for some time, almost it's like uh, 24 hours now. Mm, so let me take the Android version, the and the, the particular ROM is Pixel, Pixel Experience and the Android version is 12. The uh, security update is the latest and uh, the kernel is uh, 4.19.172. Um, that is about the Android version and all. Well, we all know um, what Pixel Experience is offering us. Well, uh, this build uh, from our friend Herobux, he did a great, I mean, an amazing job. The build is extremely smooth. The build is really great. Um, one more thing I wish to add is that I haven't noticed any bugs. Well, I have seen in our Telegram group people who are complaining about the unavailability of micro and uh, maybe some Bluetooth headset problems, which I haven't checked or I don't have the Bluetooth headset to check on. So um, I'm not sure about it. Well, I had been using the um, using the ROM for some time now. Now, uh, first of all, the ROM is Play Store certified once you enable the magic hide and stuff like that. So basically this is certified. So let me show you how I got it certified. So launch your magic application once you boot up the ROM. Then go to the settings, tap on the settings button and enable these two options the suggest beta and enforce denial list these two options then go to configure denial list and uh, make sure that you select the complete two option for the google play services and google play store eventually it will be um, it will help you to pass the play store certification thing so this is something that you can do if your play store is not certified in the uh, in the latest uh, um, in the with the with the while using the latest magisk uh, version so um well once you have enabled all these things and still if it is not certified go to the settings again for the application information of play store and make sure that you clear all the uh, play store clear storage and clear cache thing and uh, once you reboot it back well let's hope that it will it will show you certified then further to that let's go to the drm information check about our wide wine status so as you can see it is l1 so there isn't any issue for the wide wine also well uh, this rom uses snap cam by default and i have tried to manage the google camera uh, it, i have tried to manage installing google camera onto the rom it's just the google camera go from the play store since it's using um so it was available somehow for my play store so i managed to install it once you go to the settings page you can see that all um, everything is by default and let me get the battery statistics well i had been using the rom for quite a long time now and you can see that this is my uh, usage so basically yeah the rom is doing pretty much good on the on the battery side as well so yeah it's something great um Further, the ROM offers you with um, the ROM offers you some uh, basic customization. Like um, once you come to gestures, you can get some customization over here. Other than that, you will get some uh, button customization and the status bar customization. So these are the basic stuff that you get with the Pixel Experience ROM. Uh, one drawback that I've noticed is if you go to the about phone, it will be displayed as Redmi 9T unless and until you change the um, change the device name well that's the only thing that i've noticed as of now um well overall the build is quite good i mean i cannot say that the build is quite good but it, the build is extremely good you can take a look at the application launch speed and stuff like that 
so let's go to the device information and try to see what exactly we have so basically yeah these all are the device information that i have for you um so yeah this is it now coming to the settings uh, coming back to the settings again um, some people might be wondering if the uh, rom is rom encrypts our storage or not well no it doesn't encrypt our storage let me show you where that thing actually uh, is being seen i believe it was somewhere around security or something like that but i'm sure that the rom doesn't have um, doesn't have uh, um, encryption so that is something that i'm sure from my side so the rom doesn't yeah the rom doesn't encrypt our storage so it is a decrypted rom i believe yeah i have seen it somewhere but i, I do not know um, where it is hidden right now yep the themed icons work perfect and uh, they um, the 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 since the rom comes with the apps it is using google launcher by default of course uh, pixel experience always comes comes up with the uh, apps <laughs> just joking so yeah mm, well overall um, what are my verdicts first of all many thanks to our friend herobox for uh, releasing this particular rom it's an amazing build it's a great build it's a smooth build um well there can be one or two bugs maybe i'm not sure i didn't check but i'm a normal user and i didn't feel anything about the bugs so that is fact number one fact number two is um yeah see we are yet to get a stable tree or maybe our trees are stable for um oss winter um winter winter roams but still nothing to complain it's an amazing build if you want to use it for a um long time usage you can do that i didn't face any random reboots and stuff like that so it's a great build now if you want to flash how to flash it well try to use the latest orange fox build from our friend of ross g um he had put up uh, uh, put up his orange fox builds on his channel so try to check his channel and get the latest build flash it on to your um, recovery and use the same recovery for recovery for flashing no oss um, or oss roams um, because otherwise you will get some issue with the recovery so that's only a kind of tip that i'm giving you if you want to flash the rom once again i would like to thank you for watching my rom review please make sure to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you